Hi, I'd like to show you this demo of Atlantis style workflow. Uh, through comments from the community and working with you, uh, we've developed this PRD to uh, essentially plan for how we're going to do some of this work. Uh, to show you some MVP and also what we can do currently, I wanted to go through uh, these slides first. So first, um, we'll skip over mission. Together with Omri, Omri was helping create this MVP. Uh, what's the motivation behind the Lanta style workflow? Well, for one, we know, and this happens unfortunately often or can happen, is that a TF plan success does not always equal a Terraform apply success. Which means if we have a PR and the PR plan has been approved and merged, and then we apply, there could be a potential where we need to create another PR to fix it. So instead, what we would like to do is make sure that the PR that created the breaking change will be caught in that PR and fixed in the same PR. Therefore, in the Atlantis style workflow, the applies happen on the PR branch and not after the merge to the target. So based on working with you, uh, these are the requirements overview. PR gets created. TF plan runs automatically in background. This is an existing M0 functionality. Comments happen on the PR. Code gets modified as needed and plan keeps triggering as needed based on code changes. Right now, the code that's getting modified and plan keeps triggering is an existing functionality. Comments is a new functionality that we'll need to br bring in. And when the PR is not in an approved state, only Terragram plans can run, which is a new functionality. However, when the PR has been approved, then the T uh, apply can also run and apply points to the PR branch, not master. And then finally, after the successful apply, we'll merge the branch into master. And at this point, we expect that there are no, plan no changes should be necessary. Okay, so let me, I want to show you what M0's approach today without uh, any of the, the new features that we'll be building. And then I will also show you the current MVP that includes Bitbucket comments. So let's start with uh, this flow. We're going to create a PR targeting master branch. And uh, basically, I'll show you these steps. So let's go into M0 first and show you what we have. So I have this environment random dev, and it's deployed off of this, this repo, Atlantis workflow, uh, and it's deploying this Terraform, which is simply just a random string. Okay, I'm going to create a PR off of this. So let's just edit this source and change the length to something like 15. And let me move my face and commit those changes. Let's create a pull request. Let's make it a little simpler. We'll call it a chore PR. Let's say today is 0301. So now we have a branch PR 0301. We're creating a pull request against main uh, master. So at this point, basically what M0 already does out of the box is trigger this PR plan, and you'll see that happen just now. A PR plan has been triggered, and this is based on our M0 settings because we're listening in on changes to the master branch for any of the template related to, to the random folder, and it triggers the PR plan. If we go back, uh, if we go into the PR plan, we can see the deployment in progress and wait for the plan. In order to save some time, I will pause the video. Okay, now we're back. The Terraform plan is completed and we can see that there's gonna be a change from 10 to 15 in length. If I go to the PR and refresh, we will now also see the plan details in the, comment, in the PR comments. So here, 10 to 15, and again, uh, if we make additional changes, 
if we go into the code and decide to make some more code changes to the code. Sorry, I'm not familiar with Bitbucket. One second. I'll pause the video. Okay. I am going to make an additional change. So instead of 15, I need 18. Let's commit that uh, to the PR branch. And let's go back to M0. And we see that another PR plan has been triggered. I will pause and wait for everything to update. Just quickly, I wanted to show you uh, while the plan is still updating, you can see here the comment is changed in place. We are not adding additional comments. And you can see here M0 is still generating the plan. Please stand by. I'll pause and come back when it's done. OK, I did a manual refresh. And now the plan has been updated. And you can see here 10 to 18 instead. So this is, again, currently is just simply M0's native functionality. So we've done PRs now. Let's say we approve. So go. I'm going to go ahead and approve now and kick off the apply. Actually, let me unapprove first and show you show you something that we can do to 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 block the apply from happening. Okay, so I've um, again. Everything looks good. Now I want to go back to M0. What we need to do here manually is change the revision. And this is built into M0. When I hit redeploy, I can change the revision to target the branch. And because of our integration with Bitbucket, it will simply load all of the PRs and all the branches, not PRs, load all the branches that we've created and tags. So here I'm targeting the chore PR0301. I'm going to deploy. And during this deployment process, basically, we're going to rerun the plan and attempt. And after manual approval, we will then run the apply, which I'll show you after the plan runs. OK, so the plan has completed. Here you can see 10 to 18. And I'm going to approve. One thing I want to note is of this going back to this functionality, um, actually to the MVP or sorry, to your requirement here. Only when the PR is in approved state can we also run the Tarragon apply. And how we can handle this when M0 without any, um, we, what, we could, what we do is we add a script, or what we call the custom flow in M0. So let me show you what the custom flow looks like. Here in this M0.yaml, essentially we can validate that the PR has been approved through the shell script basically using the Bitbucket API to check the PR branch and see who's been, if it's been approved. I'm going to go ahead and hit Approve. And remember that this PR that I created earlier hasn't been approved yet. So we should expect a failure, um, even though the plan has been approved. We have this additional step here that's going to validate to make sure that the PR has been approved. We just need to give it a second. I'll pause again for delays. OK, so here, the pair, uh, before the plan has run, and we've also give some, you can give some output. So essentially, we're retrieving the commit that is for this PR, and then looking for, or we're looking for the PR that contains this commit. And now we're checking to see if it's been approved. Through the Bitbucket API, we basically find out that, hey, the this PR hasn't been approved, so we can fail this deployment. The stage has failed, and therefore the uh, deployment has failed, and we can re-update re this. So here it says, please make sure the PR has been approved before redeploying. Let's go into Bitbucket and approve it. And let's redeploy. And then I'll pause for just real quickly. I'm going to go ahead and prove it. OK, now the Terraform apply is running. Uh, the before Terraform apply step, uh, we're validating that PR has been approved. So it allows us to proceed forward. 
and then terraform apply has happened. So now we've updated our random variable or random string to include 18 characters instead. So that's a quick, again, a quick overview of current functionality within M0, everything that you can do today without any additional modifications from us or, or features from us. I want to show you an MVP now of that feature we just um, are building into Bitbucket to allow you to not, uh, not have to rely on just M0 UI, but also add in comments here to help trigger deployments. So I'll start with a, uh, I'm going to pause this video and create another PR to, to reset it. Actually, sorry, before I, I create another PR, I'm going to show you, let me just complete this. So um, I'm still back on my original PR, PR0301 to master. So let's merge it. And then what we will need to do again today manually is come back into this environment, that resource I've deployed and redeploy off of master. And at this point, we should expect an apply with no changes or simply a skip to apply because the plan has no changes. Okay, the plan ran really quickly. Here, we inspect the plan. The plan has no changes. And well, the Terraform apply has been skipped because there's been no changes. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've created a new PR, PR0302, uh, Merge Masters. So similar to before, we have the plan already generated here, and um, I reset it back from 18 to 10. What I want to show you next is essentially adding in comments. So very similar to Atlantis-style workflow, we can trigger deployments through com uh, Bitbucket comments. I'm going to take this environment ID. Uh, what we plan on doing is giving you the ability to use an alias rather than the, rely on the ID. But at this point, uh, in terms for the MVP, we're going to run this command m0 plan dash e for environment with the environment ID and hit save. And what we should expect there, uh, m0 triggers a new deployment. So another PR plan is in progress. And because I made no changes, uh, this you won't see any changes here. But here, oh, we can see that the PR plan has failed, probably because we have some Bitbucket API issue. We will have to debug that further. Um, but if I try, I bet if I try running it a few more times, eventually it will work. So MVP, but here well, again, the PR plan is in progress. Now I want to show you simply, uh, let's go back to the slides for a second. So again, this is the M0 MVP. All we're simply doing is uh, adding in the Bitbucket comment for the PR loop. So you can do a plan uh, from Bitbucket and see the changes. And the PR looks good, we can approve it. And the last thing to do is M0 apply. So what this command does is it simplifies a, a one step for us. Instead of having to manually come in to change the revision to your PR branch, we can simply run M0 apply and M0 or the Bitbucket integration will take care of changing the branch for you to the PR. So here you can see we've started a deployment. And if I dig into it, you can see the revision has changed to the branch. And because I haven't approved it, we should expect this to fail during the right before Terraform apply stage. So I will pause for effect. There you go. The Validation check has failed, the PR hasn't been approved, and therefore we block the apply. Again, this is the MVP. We do have a PRD that we can happily review with you to make sure that all the additional features and functionality will match your requirements. Um, I hope you get a lot out of this demo, and please feel free to ask us additional questions if you have any. Cheers.